Hello, Americans. Another friend subscribers around the world. Back here, man. So this morning, we uh, I'm like a couple of little giddy teenagers. Now that we're just about uh, about ready for the uh, fishing camping trip, and the plan was to go tomorrow morning. Now we've decided we got everything ready. We're gonna go tonight this evening. Get up there man have a we're going up we're planning on going up just one night. But now kind of decided to go up for two nights. Be a I'm engulfed. Um, dude, this trade blanket. <laughs> this one's very blanket. It, it's rough. Oops, can't really see it. This old trade blanket I found in the road on the highway. It was blowing around. I'm like, was that a freaking trade blanket? <laughs> freaking turned around, went back, and sure enough. This old tree blanket. I just use it for uh, emergency blanket, basically. I took it out, you know, washed it, obviously. But uh, that was a good find. That was a good find. Anyway, so our plan now is to uh, go up tonight. I'm so excited because that will give us uh, over here. that will give us uh, two nights and three days well half day today but man I'll get to do some fishing tonight and then wake it up wake it up in the up in the mountains is always a uh, Plus. All right, so something I'm going to do that you can do, that you can try to do, is I got two milk jugs filled here. This is, this is a trick of the trades. And I'm going to close this with just two frozen milk jugs in here. And uh, that one, uh, that will make my uh, or cool down the cooler and then here you know hours from now when we uh, get ready to load this up with the food for the weekend we will uh, take those two jugs out put two different frozen jugs in there and that will be cold and I don't know if you've uh, I've ever showed this, but this is a lifetime cooler. You know, uh, Walmart. We got two of these, and basically, it's the same as a same as a Yeti. Just actually, Kevin got these. Or got uh, yeah, Kevin got these for us. Whew, I don't know, two or three years ago, man, and they are amazing. Anyway, there's a little trick for. Uh, trick for thought and then corn man you always got to have corn for the fish I got corn worms and spinners and all that I've got to clean up these fish bowls um, so that's the plan man you can see the van van is all I guess you can you can see um, gotta start organizing and stuff I gotta gotta uh, Make enough room. I've got to have Kai and Grizz and then Sparky and Rex, Katie Joe, and Kara are going to take care of the, the place and the animal that ran. Take care of the place and the animals 
and so they'll be here um, off and on through the day and then one spin of the night so everything man all the animals will be safe and sound and taken care of that was the main thing but uh we're gonna take Sparky and Rex. Miss Kitty didn't want to. She just wants a vacation. She didn't want to take any of the dogs. She just wants a break from all. But so we're gonna take uh, Kai and uh, Grizz, which I wouldn't even go to the hills without my my dogs. Man, they're good, good protectors, good everything. So anyway, so I'm gonna make a spot for them. And uh, organize this thing, man. That's uh, I'm not gonna really film, man. I'm just gonna get ready. We'll definitely uh, be filming as we go go along. Oh, the one thing that uh, you know, man, I hate to say this. It's no Tellum Creek is where I'm going. And uh, the one thing this is kind of a remote lake. Um, don't want to say too much about it. <laughs> this is one of our places, one of our hideaways. And yesterday, Briquet's dad was up there and said that there was one camper on the whole lake. Hmm, that sounds like my kind of place. <laughs> so anyway, so that's another reason that we're like, hey man, we're going. You know, on the weekends it gets a few more people and stuff, but... I don't do the weekends. Weekends is the amateur time. Anyway, man, I'm gonna. I'll take you along for that. Hopefully, we catch some fish. Hopefully, we do a lot of relaxing. And it's supposed to. Uh, they're calling for cooler temps in the next couple of days. Actually, for the next week. And then uh, we'll see what happens. But they're talking about thunder showers Thursday night, which we'll be back. But, uh, never know what's going to happen in these mountains. Just take it day, day by day. And their predictions are just exactly what that, uh, what that implies. Predictions. So, I'm not going to film getting ready for all this. I just want to get this, this out there, so. Um, hopefully I don't miss any videos, but. There was that chance, man, but we'll have uh, the internet and stuff up there with us, so I don't know if we'll have any service, but we'll have we'll have our phones and stuff with us. Good Lord willing, and them creeks don't rise. We'll be back again tomorrow. See ya.